High Codes community. The Codes Virtual Control SL is now officially released. Your benefit? It is a containerized runtime. You can therefore instantiate it multiple times on the same standard IT hardware. And this also reduces the costs for dedicated PLCs. Flexible orchestration options already established in the IT environment also simplify maintenance and handling, for example, for firmware updates. This means you can easily integrate virtual control into your IT landscape. Thanks to its high scalability, you can tailor the virtual control ideally to your needs and thus create exactly the right number of virtual controllers on one piece of hardware. You can easily download Codesys Virtual Control via the Codesys Store or the Codesys Installer. Let's see how it works. First, we open the Codesys Installer, select the Codesys version and search for Virtual Control in the add-on area under Browse. Then we check the box for Codesys Virtual Control for Linux SL, click on Install Selected and follow the installation wizard. Once the installation is complete, we open Codesys and create a new project that we will need later on. The installation of one or more virtual controllers on a Linux host system is implemented with the Codesys Deploy tool. To ensure that the Deploy tool works as desired, Python 3 and Docker must already be pre-installed on the target system and SSH access must be activated. Under the Tools tab, we find Deploy Control SL in the Communication tab. We enter the IP address and SSH access data of the host system and click on Connect. If the status changes to Connected, we switch to the next tab, Deployment. Here we can manage our Docker images of the virtual controllers. The standard images are supplied with the installation. To install these, we select the images in the drop-down menu and click on Install. Once we have finished managing the images, we switch to the Configuration tab. The container instances of the virtual controller can be managed here. We create a new instance using the plus button. And for a virtual controller to be accessible, a virtual edge gateway is always required on the host device, which we now also create. The application uses a physical Ethernet port on the host device. We therefore need to grant the runtime container access to it. In my case, the logical name of the Ethernet adapter is ENP2S0. We can determine the name of the adapter via secure shell connection to the terminal with the command sudo lshw minus class network. And to grant access, we open the configuration menu for the runtime container. Here in the NIC section, we enter the logical name of the Ethernet adapter. Once the edge gateway and the virtual controllers have been created and configured, we can start or stop them in the status command tab. We have now completed all the necessary work in the deploy tool. Now we need to establish a connection to the container using the edge gateway. To do this, we open the device in the application tree and then the communication tab, we open the drop-down menu and create a new gateway access. In the gateway window, we enter the IP address of the host system. And from there on, the procedure is the same as for dedicated PLC or soft PLC. After the basic configuration of the virtual controller, we can compile our application and upload it to the controller. Handling a large number of virtual PLCs conveniently and efficiently will soon be possible with
with a CodeSwiss automation server. In addition to several hosts and container images, we will then also be able to manage the virtual PLCs and edge gateways very smoothly. For example, by instantiating, starting and stopping them. Including all the necessary configurations such as port mapping, network settings and mounts for the containers. Further information on handling the virtual controller is available in the CodeSys online app. You'll find the link in the video description. Thank you for watching and have fun with CodeSys virtual control.